In this video, we'll be taking a look at two WNBA games happening on July 1, 2023, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games. So two picks for each game, four picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports, let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these two WNBA games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive sports picks to take your journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best single picks, parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. Las Vegas Aces vs. Connecticut Sun The Connecticut Sun and Las Vegas Aces face off on Saturday in a WNBA showdown at Michelob Ultra Arena. The Suns sit with a 12-4 record overall, but they are coming off a loss in the last game. The Suns scored 81 points against the New York Liberty, but the defense gave up 89 points and that led to the 8-point defeat. Guy John I. Carrington had a strong game finishing with 23 points, 6 rebounds, and 2 assists. The Sun are averaging 84 points while their defense is giving up 78 points points per game. The offense is ranked fifth in the league while the defense is ranked third in the WNBA. Tawana Bonner is averaging 18 points while shooting 41.9% from the field. Brianna Jones suffered an Achilles injury last week and is now out for the season. The Las Vegas Aces sit with a 14-1 record overall and they currently look like the clear favorite to win the WNBA title. In the last game, the Aces faced off against a very good New York Liberty team and they were able to secure a 98-81 victory. The Aces had five different players that finished with at least 14 points. The Aces are averaging 93 points while their defense is giving up 78 points per game. The offense is ranked first in the league while the defense is ranked second in the league. Jackie Young has been the top player for the Aces averaging 19.5 points while shooting 57.7% from the field and 49.3% from behind the three-point line. Even against the best teams, the Aces have looked dominant this year and it's going to be no different in this game. The Aces scored 98 points against the New York Liberty and they are going to have no issue running up the score again in this game. This is going to be an easy victory for the Aces. So the Las Vegas Aces to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. Connecticut comes into this one with a mark of 12 to 4 on the season. They currently have an average of 84 points per game while going 43.9% from the field. The Sun are shooting 34.6% on three-point shots and 76.6% from the free throw line. As a unit, Connecticut is pulling down 35.7 rebounds per game and has accumulated 340 dimes on the year, which is first in the WNBA in terms of passing the ball. They turn it over 12.5 times per game and as a unit they commit 19 fouls per game. On the defensive end, the Sun are forcing their opponents into 14.9 turnovers per game while drawing 20 fouls. They surrender 29.3% on shots from beyond the perimeter while they are third in basketball in points per game allowed. The Sun are giving up an opponent's shooting percentage of 42.4% and they concede 34.5 boards per contest as a group. They are currently ranked 11th in the league in giving up assists with 309 relinquished on the year. Las Vegas has a mark of 14 to 1 for the year. When it comes to executing on offense, the Aces are shooting 50.3% from the field, which ranks first in basketball. Las Vegas has scored 1,397 points this season and they pull down 34.8 rebounds per game. They are getting an assist 22.5 times per game and they are losing possession by a turnover 11.5 times per game. The Aces commit 15.9 fouls per contest while shooting 81.9% from the charity stripe. The Aces defensively are ranked second in the WNBA in points per game surrendered with 77.7. They allow 18.4 assists and 33.5 boards on a nightly basis, which is ranked third and second in the WNBA. The Las Vegas defense surrenders 34.3% from downtown and their opponents are connecting on 77.9% of their shots from the free throw line. They are forcing their opponents into 13.1 turnovers per game and have let teams shoot 41.3% from the floor. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. 
Phoenix Mercury vs. Minnesota Lynx The Minnesota Lynx and Phoenix Mercury face off on Saturday in a WNBA showdown at the Footprint Center. The Lynx sit with a 6-9 record overall and they are coming off a big victory in the last game against the Seattle Storm. It was Nafis a Collier that hit the game-winning shot to help lift the Lynx in overtime. The Lynx are averaging 79 points while their defense is giving up 84.5 points per game. The offense is ranked 9th in the league while the defense is ranked 8th. Nafis a Collier has been the top player for the Lynx averaging 22 points while shooting 49.2% from the field and 34.6% from behind the three-point line. There are four different players that are averaging at least 10.5 points per game. The Mercury come into this game with a 3-11 record overall, but they are coming off a victory in the last game. The Mercury scored 85 points against the Indiana Fever, and that was enough to secure the 22-point victory. Brittany Griner finished with 22 points, 5 rebounds, and 3 assists. The Mercury are averaging 77 points while their pitching is 86 points per game. The offense is ranked 12th in the league while the pitching staff is ranked 10th. Griner has been the top player for the Mercury so far this season averaging 19 and a half points while shooting 61.5% from the field. Both of these teams are coming off impressive victories, but I have been more impressed with the Lynx. Collier would be getting MVP consideration if she was on a better team, and she's going to have a big game here. The Mercury aren't going to be keeping up and the Lynx are going to get the job done here. So the Minnesota Lynx to cover the spread as underdogs is our full game side pick. Minnesota comes into this contest with a win-loss mark of 6-9 so far this season. They are giving up possession 12.6 times per contest and as a basketball team are committing 17.4 fouls on a nightly basis. As a team, Minnesota is collecting 35.7 boards per game and is sitting with 285 assists on the year, which has them ranked 6th in the league in terms of passing. The Lynx are connecting on 30.1% on 3-point shots and 82.8% from the free throw line. They average 79 points per contest while hitting 41.8% from the field. On the defensive end, the Lynx are forcing 11.9 turnovers per contest while drawing 19.2 fouls. They are ranked 10th in basketball and giving up assists with 307 conceded on the year. The Lynx are giving up a field goal percentage of 44 percent and they surrender 34.5 rebounds per game as a squad. They are giving up 36.6 percent from beyond the arc and they are ranked eighth in the WNBA in opponents points per game. Phoenix has a mark of 3 to 11 for the year. When it comes to offensive execution, the Mercury are shooting 44.5 percent from the field, which is third in basketball. Phoenix has earned 1,073 points this year and they pull down 29 rebounds per game. They are assisting teammates 19.9 times per game and they are losing possession by a turnover 15.8 times per contest. The Mercury are responsible for committing 20.2 personal fouls per game and they connect on 80.4% from the charity stripe. The Mercury on the defensive end are ranked 10th in the WNBA in points per game given up with 85.8. The Phoenix defense surrenders 34% on shots from beyond the arc and opponents are making 82.3% of their foul shots. They allow 20.9 dimes and 35.2 rebounds per contest, which ranks them 11th and 8th in the league. They have forced 12.5 turnovers per game and allow teams to shoot 43.8% from the floor. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.